This video is brought to you by NordVPN. In the description is a link to our previous video on how VPNs work, as well as a limited time offer that will give you a big 75% discount. That's only $2.99 a month for the early VPN to obtain a perfect score from PC Mac, and also what I use myself on a daily basis. Capcom Japan recently streamed some Resident Evil 2 Remake gameplay over on their YouTube channel, and part of this was showing off Leon's special noir costume and the noir screen filter effect, which is why the screen is tinted differently and Leon's appearance is altered. During this gameplay we were able to see some of the censorship changes that are being made over in Japan. Like Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 2 will be released in two versions over in Japan. One of these will be rated Sarah D, meaning 17 years and over, and the other Sarah Z, meaning 18 plus and also having a few other restrictions such as needing a credit card to be able to purchase via the PlayStation Store for age verification purposes. Like Sensor Gaming has previously made a video on though, Resident Evil 7 was still heavily censored in Japan even with the max rated Z version. This is due to there still being various rules on what you can and can't show in games in Japan even with the highest rating. In the gameplay we can see that the death of Elliot no longer sees his entire lower body tore off when he's pulled from under the doors. You can compare these differences yourself on screen now with the uncensored English release on the left and the Japanese version on the right. At this stage we can't confirm exactly how uncensored the Z rated version is this time around or whether the censorship seen in the recent stream is from the D version or Z version. From previous Japanese censorship however it seems very possible that this may have come from the highest rated version but for more details on that we'll have to wait until the game releases. Another moment during this stream also appears to have shown some changes to the level of detail when a zombie has its head crushed underneath a door later on. Sensor Gaming will be sure to keep watching this closely and will report a more detailed comparison between the Japanese and English versions when the game releases worldwide January 25th. If you're interested in seeing that, as well as other videos on how video games and other media are changed around the world, please consider subscribing to the channel and until next time, thank you for watching.